Hey guys, Alex Mod here. Today I am bringing you another bucket plugin tutorial, and today I am showing you um, chat colors because last episode I almost did it and I never taught you guys it yet. So basically, chat colors is well self-explanatory. It's the color of like the text and stuff. So what we'll do, we'll just basically take. I'll make a new command here, I guess. So um, oops. So basically, the chat color, what it does when it, uh, it's hard to say. The text you're putting out, like, so you could basically make a command, and it's like, um, it could be like a command. So you could, oh, it's hard to say, a command that allows your player to. Like, if you did slash color my text and then pick a color like red or something, then, um, if you were to like type something in the chat, your text would be red. But basically, what we're gonna do is make it so we're gonna do a command and it's gonna be colored text and it's gonna send a message to you and it's gonna be in like whatever color. So you do chat color, capital C's, and then dot, and then here is all your options and they're kinda cut off from where my video thing is. Can I move this? I can make it really big. Uh, can I drag it? I don't think I can. Sorry. Um, but um, all your colors are in here. And so you can just pick a color. I'll do... What do I want to do? Um, actually I'll explain them. So aqua is aqua. Um, there's other ones like bold is um bold letters. I'm not sure what color char is. I haven't actually found that out. Um if you scroll down there is a uh, gold is actually orange. Italic is just slanted text like in Microsoft Word. Magic is like scrambling letters. Reset resets it back to like the normal white. Um strike through puts a strike through the letters. Underline is underline letters and yeah that's about it. So um I'll do aqua plus col Colored. Wait a minute. I spelled that wrong. Colored text. <laughs> there. And then we can like copy this and put it out a couple times. I'll go red and yellow and gold. Bowl. Wait, no, I'll do magic to show you what I mean by what it does. There. Um. Actually, I'll rename this to what it is. Um, red. Oops, oh, I did that wrong. My bad. Copy, paste, copy. Uh. Ah, uh, God. Magic. So we won't actually be able to read this technically. It'll all be scrambled. And then if args dot length. Equal. Oh, wait, no. Greater than or equal to one. Player dot send message. Oh, shit, I spelled it wrong. Message. Um, we'll put it red because we want to be mad. It's gonna say usage slash colored text, and then you want to open your plugin dot yml and. Uh, just sort of try to fix this. Hold on. It's all weird because I was doing permission stuff. Okay, so um, you have all this here. Just copy a command. And if you're doing this in um, Notepad++, you have to make sure there's no tabs or else it screws it up. So what would we call it? Colored text. Send sends you. Since you colored text there, and you can close that. Uh, go ahead and export it. Share file, YouTube, finish. Yes, and then go ahead and put that in your your uh, plugins folder. So I'm just starting this on a different screen. I'll drag it over. So you can see it ran fine. But uh, I'm just gonna put it on the other. 
other side. And yes, I am still doing, playing Minecraft and stuff in a, in um, what's it called? I can't think. Jesus, <laughs> still doing Minecraft stuff in 1.5.2 instead of 1.6.1. Apparently, Hunger Games is already updated. Surprised. But um, so yeah, Dark Connect localhost, because that's what I'm running it off. We're back in this awesome world with. Apparently, there's a lava spell. I didn't know that. Oh, that was when I was trying. Okay, I know what that's from. But um, if you go here and you do slash colored text, so you can see that's aqua, that's red, that's yellow, gold, and this is magic. It just makes words and stuff really weird. So. I know this was a quick tutorial on doing it, but I thought I'd show you because look what you can do later on. You can put signs with colors and stuff. So I'm stuck on an anvil, what the hell? Um, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions for what you want me to teach you next, I can show you. I will probably do permissions next. So hope you guys learned something and enjoyed. So see you all later.